Hello, it's Pete again from Alan's World. Um, this is a whole video on for roughly halfway through this week. I've just done a couple of car boot sales today. I did one yesterday um, at a scout group and um, a few charity shop hauls. And I've had a few charity shops ring me up with some other stuff which they've got, which I've asked them to look out for. So um, I'll show you an overview of what I've got and then we'll go over today. What's it? I think I must have spent with, with, with um, car boot sales and retail arbitrage i'll probably spend about 70 quid in a return of probably around about three 300 pound upwards yeah it's sort of on there uh, i've also bought a wee bundle which i'll talk about which is actually not here i'm going to pick it up on wednesday but a cracking deal everything box practically brand new uh, over there so this is just a little overview of some of the stock which just came in um, excuse the, the house is a right take don't say I've had that much stuff delivered over the last few days you can see all these there's boxes and boxes that's just medical equipment for my son uh, it, that's half of it they, they sent 18 boxes of, of stuff like that plus another seven crates of milk I just don't know where to put it uh, so we're running out of storage fast so at the end of this video you'll probably uh, also I also got all this down here as well which I'll talk about very shortly at the end of this video i'm going to show you i've done another haul pick up one of my board games um yeah this 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 mass pile i'm about to show you now is just one box out of the 11 boxes of board games i picked up for 50 pounds so you can see here this is scale electrics ferrari um home quests and painting games some yahtzees whole load of games lego create it yes yeah, so it's just games i have games everywhere uh, if you see down here my children have been playing with the scale electric set just to make sure that works um it keeps sticking though um just right about there so i think i need a little, little bit of cleaning sort of on there oh, no, there's, there's more of that milk i was telling you about right so let's get on with it so i'll start off with a few charity shops i went to a skip yesterday put them in the charity shops around the corner from the skip trying to empty some stuff and put these trivia suit games up for a pound each I break them down and sell the cards for packs of 50 for one eighth for 199 yes with 20p postage and they go quite regularly the pack that the individuals um, I sell one cheese bit with the six colors or six different colors for 169 free postage or all of them for 399 so good lot of money just for all this um charity shop yesterday I I went down there I wanted a sewing machine I, I saw I'll show you very shortly and I wanted to do something else just to finish the deal off. Um, they were selling these Beast Quest books free for 99 pence. I've got a whole complete series one, two of, and I've got a series two complete set. Plus I've got these three additional, upside down, these three additional other little special ones and a few later sets. So not bad on those sort of buys on there. Um, I'll just move these board games out of the way. Oh, didn't break my stock. Ugh. I know people keep saying about mugs. I just can't. I just can't help myself. If I see them, I pick them up. This free. Didn't pay a penny for it. Yeah, I asked the guy how much he wants. He said, "I just get rid of it. Free." Yeah, again, free. Didn't want it. Um, my wife got a bit on things. She said, "I'll give you twenty p." Okay, okay then. Yeah, because he also threw this in as well for free. Yeah, so twenty p. All three of those. Thank you very much. Um, the next door had another mug, so those pair together, like four ninety nine for the pair now. Thank you. I've now got a full set of those. Couple, um, it's Disney Winnie the Pooh from Tams. I looked up on eBay, nine ninety five. It's selling for. This is brand, practically brand new. I uh, picked up for fifty p. Um, Wallace sort of mug on. He said that was new, but you can see the scuffing on the nose. I just need to check up on that. Um, Paid 150 for that, so I paid up on that. Uh, I probably shouldn't have, but hey. Um, got some bit of ale glasses, a couple of tangle foots, 50 pence each, a um, couple of badges, 50 pence each, and a cold blitzer, um, a Dianus beer, yeah, 50p. So I've got a few of those, and they'll work those out very shortly. Gas stove, I know I'm nixed about gas stove, so I'm going to give this a clean up and test it, and that'll be ready for the camping season. A um, couple of board games, lottery and pictionary, pay 50 pence each for those. Trivia Pursuit, this is practically brand new inside, it's a new 2009 series, requires batteries as a sand timer. Um, adult edition, paid a pound, um, we just checked on Amazon and that was going for about £37 on eBay for around about £29, £30. So um, on there, 
And then um, I'll, do the, I'll do the other stuff very shortly. That's a bit of retail arbitrage. And a little bit of media stock. Um, I'll just get these out. And the car boots out of the Scout Hut. I saw this um, Super Smash Brothers. Ask, ask the lady how much she wanted. She wanted 50p. Thank you. That's 30 quid. Thank you very much. Um, Mario Kart. I had a spare steering wheel with no game, so I bought this one today. I had to pay up a little bit. Um, she wanted £15 for it. I've got it down to 7 I know it's too much, but with the wheel, I can, I'm selling these regularly for around about 16 quid on, on eBay with the wheel, so I'm doubling my money there. Mafia. Um, pay 50p for original Xbox. Um, all these PS2 games on here. So FIFA 2, 3, 4, 5 and a World Cup quiz. 20 pence each for a pound for the bundle on there itself. Um, logo board game. That's a charity shop find. Paid up on that £4 but I've sold many of these. I sold one at Amazon for £25. Another one at Amazon for £18 used. So this was news, practically brand new. So okay on that i'll come back to that i'll get a story with that and then um some retail arbitrage stuff went to tesco's the second ago they were starting selling some of their stuff off they didn't have much left looks like they totally ransacked um but i picked these cups up for two pound each on there to get a little bit of return i go for about six pound but the biggest deal in that in tesco's was these ink cartridges hp ink cartridges i think i've still got some prices on them um you'll never guess how much i pay for them uh oh there we go Look at that, £3.80 yeah, for this ink cartridge, which is going on eBay. I'm bidding £15, £16, pound, buy it now for £28. Yeah, and look how many I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cartridges. Yeah, so a hefty profit there. Between £2 and £3 a cartridge I paid on there itself. Nice little find. This was another little funny story. I wanted to return the address label from, um, I found one on Amazon for five, seven, I think it's about seven pounds for this. Um, I forgot Bartley sent me a brand new Bartley card a couple of days ago. Um, so I tried buying them on, um, with my old car card, Doc declined, went to my second account, which is my wife's account. Uh, if you don't know, sometimes Amazon, they do their deals, they're only allowed to buy one thing at any one thing. Sometimes, so we both got an account each, so we can get two things sometimes. So I used that account again, the card was linked to my card that got declined um we got an email from them saying our order order been cancelled due to a failed payment and then suddenly two of these turned up so thank you very much free a charge from amazon on there i've also done a couple more amazon deals some sunglasses and some other games and some skylander stuff all thanks to nick hills for giving us the links um they're all storage and been sale at the moment this this book here i'll just get oh no no no, no i i, I I'm going to leave you with that. That's a very, very good story how I got hold of that. Just say it wasn't from this country. Um, I got that as a Bible. 19, no, 1772, I think. Um, a couple of books I found inside my attic, um, probably when I was at school, um, over on there. Right, coming over some other stock. Um, so this is why I went to that charity shop first. I want to test the waters with some ch um, sewing machines. Um, there was a, a singer uh, in one charity shop, they wanted 50 quid for in very bad condition. I thought, I'm not going to get that. I uh, went to another one, they wanted 15 pound for this. It seems to be working. Uh, wait, oh, oh. It, 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 it was working earlier on. Um, I probably need to have a quick look. There we go, let's tighten things up. Um, uh, there we go, yeah, it, it's working now, yeah, see. This needs to be a tightened up, a little clean up. Um, I've seen these for around about 70 quid, 90 quid. Yes, I paid 15. Um, and thanks to Ben, he's got me into modding. I'm sorry, sorry for this as well, Ben, because you did say there's not many people doing it. And me being me, I like to dabble my hands in a few little things. So um, I thought I'd give it a go, test the waters. I've just noticed you've sold all, all yours very, very quickly. So, um, so I'm about to catch you up. <laughs> yeah, sort of on there. Um, I don't pay anything more. I try and get them as creep as I can. I got four white ones from Cash Converters. On their ebay site for 20 pound free postage um sort of on there none of them have battery cases but i'll show you what i'm doing shortly all these black ones um some of them have got battery packs on and yeah all these ones have got battery packs on i paid i think it's eight pound fifty per controller um i got four controllers and a wii black wii controller with, with um which i do believe is in here yeah it is yeah uh, oh. 
uh, and this black Wii controller. Um, pay £50 including postage just to get them all down, down to me all in one go. And I'm starting to modify them already. Uh, so what I've done, you can see what you can see what I've done on here. Um, so the white ones, well, so all the black ones, so I take the black stuff off. There's not much black stuff in there anymore. I've got some more. I'm just turning to white and black, just the black buttons, put a black case on and that stuff. Oh, white case depends. I've just ordered a load of black ones from China, so I'm waiting for them to arrive. Yeah, so you've got that one on there. Um, standard colour pack, these are my first ones I was doing, just putting just colour packs in, not doing anything fancy or anything with them, just putting, just changing the colours on. Got a blue, a pink and a green. And then suddenly I thought, well, I'd done electronics at school many years ago. Bought a soldering iron yesterday, bought some stuff and um, wired in a LED board. Um, has this one got batteries in? No. Okay, um, let's get some batteries shortly. And, uh, has this one got batteries in? I don't think none of them got batteries in. Yeah, um, I'll get some in a sec. Um, but when I light it up, this whole bumper bar lights up green. All the batteries running low on my phone as well. Yeah, so that all lights up green. Yeah, sort of on there. Um, this picked up today, PS1 bundle, paid £12. Probably paid a bit too much for the games. They're not very good games. Just standard football and sporting. So there is Tekken 3 just at the top. Um, some controllers and that. I uh, just need to test that. But I'll probably get, probably get around about £20, £25. Maybe more for the controller. So for the console. I can't remember if I showed you this at all or not. But um, this is a Screaming Sims bundle I picked up a couple of days ago. Oh, last Sunday, actually. I paid £2.50 for... Two pound fifty for all of that. Um, the Sims Two game was there, but it was sort of from um, Asia or somewhere, so I wasn't too sure on the legitimacy of piracy on that. So I thought I better not sell that. So we went on auction, got Sims Two. At the same time, they also had the promotional house uh, when you bought the, the the expansion pack of the pets wherever the pets is, I've got it somewhere, um, wherever the pets one was, they gave this free a charge, um, enough to hold the game and four expansions, paid 99p for that, so putting all that together, yeah, I'm looking at a major bundle, we've got all the expansion packs and all the um, accessory packs as well, so very very good bundle, I'm not sure what I'm going to pitch out, I'm probably going to pitch about 50 quid, 40 quid, I don't know, over on there. So I do believe that is all that. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to boot this up and show you how much how, how much to go. And also, um, I'm going to show you the haul of board games I picked up. I'll show you the haul of board games I picked up, and then um, show you because I've got so much stuff now. I've now actually bought um, I hired a unit in the uh, big the big storage, the big box storage. Um, I, I, paying £14 a week for one of those um, half price, it's on half price for eight weeks um, just to try to get back clear some of the back stock, backlog of stock right but just to finish it off so this book right so let's clear some space I've had this since 2005 in 2005 I said I was I was out of this country um, the location where I was was in a war zone, well classified as a war, it was then. I was in Iraq, yeah, sort of serving in Iraq and sort of going through. And um, I was clearing out some buildings and I come across this little lovely little bounded book. And you see there, it's, oh, it's upside down. Massive book, not not very good condition, sort of around there, but I thought big book, looks fun. Yeah, volume one of the Phillips Bible. Yeah. So I'll just put this cup underneath there. So it's Bible basically, and I found it in a rack. It's got some lovely pictures inside it. It's quite dead. It's been sitting somewhere loft for ages. I've just forgot all about it. But it looks like it's got. Uh, I think I might start to start as a bookworm. I'm not sure. Oh, no, I need to need to have a quick look at that. If I have, I need to stop that. What's that? What's that? Is that bookworm? If it is but when please let me know someone yeah it's gone through a few little things 
Uh, I need to know if it is, let me know how to treat it. But you see on here, um, printed in the year of 1764. Yeah, that starts off introduction into the, into the Bible, list of subscribers, and then the first book of Moses, Genesis. Yeah, so lovely banded book. See, it all looks really, really good condition other than the little stuff on the outside. So if anyone knows their books, please let me know what the value of this is, if it's worth anything, um, or if it's going to be a book, um, just a book, a book end. Um, that'd be quite nice if someone could let us know. But thanks for watching. I'll put those little other little clips at the bottom of the video at the end. And good luck and keep hunting. I did say I would be back, but I just went upstairs to go get my camera and I forgot I had these stuff upstairs as well and the batteries for the controller. Um, yeah, we also got some of these soup mugs. I see quite a lot of people sell these soup mugs and I picked a few up from the charity shop for around about a pound each not so long ago, but I didn't have many. But I sold someone at the Calvary Star today selling all six of them for two pound. I snapped up just like that. Yeah, she goes, she looked like me for it. Oh, she should have asked me more. Well, it's done now. Two pound a lot. Very, very good condition. Right, this is the controller, so um, so I'm going to power this up, you can see on there, I get the green LEDs come on, and I get the green LEDs on there. I've also got some blue and some red packs as well, so I'm about to do exactly the same, I'm going to turn all the buttons blue, and then turn these LEDs blue, and also going to turn these LED flashing ones blue at the same time, and turn the other ones green or red, yeah, so everything's going to be matching, the whole controller's going to be matching, sort of coming over, and I just thought, nice little added a little thing for the controller but hello again it's um pete from alan's world this is another whole video i've just had confirmation from my supplier where i get my board games 25 pound for a pallet he contacted me a couple of days ago to say he's got a few more in stock so um, me and my wife just drove over to um to corby just below pit just just further from peterborough and um, to go pick up two pallet loads um, I did leave around about a quarter of a pallet behind just because it was just full of rubbish, bits and pieces, cards, playing cards, sort of unstandard standard sort of stuff which I don't really want or stuff which is too far gone. Um, but other than that, I've got a good load of stuff just over here. It keeps pouring out of rain, that's so I've just parked up in Tesco's in King's Lynn just to watch just going to pop up and get a little bit of food. But I'll just show you what I've got in the back of the car. Um, so... This is the stuff in the car. You can come around. You can see I've got a, a Renault, so a very, very big car. Some more true suits and sort of games on here. I've just done some quick eBay searches just for some standard prices, just so I can just let you know. Um, this one here, uh, Thunderbirds, we just scanned that, selling on about 26 27 pounds on eBay, but someone's got it up for Amazon for 60 quid. Um, we've got a MB original operation slightly damaged box that's going to ebay for 30 quid on there uh, monopoly i've just had a look at this here and now again another 22 pound for monopoly you know extreme just in there new we're going for about 25 pounds and we got a 40 but um, i reckon if the machine works i'll probably get about 15 pound for that i've got lots of um other trivia suits games just to go through um lots of new some seals like there's that one there that secret sound is new and sealed another vintage scrabble which i'm selling for 10 pounds amazon no well, ebay so i'm selling quite regularly i've sold three so far um so there's another one coming on there um oh, what else we got uh to come in my eye oh in the back here there is a one of the original lego sets in a box but the one problem is the box has got some water damage due to another game so um, i'm hoping it hasn't lost any pieces in that and it still retains some value but um we'll have a look at over there um any other things come to mind um can't really see too much more got some yahtzee some cludos there's about three or four cludo games which hopefully going to make sort of one game but a um, load of boards and that sort of stuff, a load more top trumps. Yeah, I have um, a standard listing of top trumps where every time I buy one, I just put them on there and they just keep going on and on and on. A bit like my trivial suits. Um, in the back of here, I've got another 
five more sets of Trivial Pursuit cards which I haven't seen before. Um, so that's quite good. Some, um, I've got some Lord of the Rings ones. I've got some Harry, I've got some Harry Potter cards. Um, Trivial Pursuits. And then there's a standard, there's a 1990 special, there's a 2000 special and, and that sort of stuff which is in the back there as well. But all in all, two, two board games are going to pay, two of the decent board games are going to pay off on my trip today. So um, the, I paid £50 for that whole bootload of stuff in the car, looking around about 360, 370 board games. I've got in the back there for £50 so um, you do the maths I'm going to make quite a good on this and that's most of this is going to go over to Amazon I know I keep getting comments all the time about you paying too many Amazon fees paying too many Amazon fees but at the moment I don't care I'm getting stuff like this for £25 um, which is working around about 15 20 30 p a board game um, Amazon can take three four pounds um, because I'm still making five, six, maybe sometimes even 15, 20 pound on a game which I'm spending hardly anything at all. Um, I'll keep doing this until it comes over. But road is now here. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so we're now going to go back and start listing it all. But again, I'll see you all later. See you then. Hello everyone, it's um, Pete from Alan's World again. Um, this is just after I just got all of my stock. From the, from the run haul yesterday, uh, it was too much that I've had to go buy myself a storage container just to um, actually store the stuff to sort it out. So this is my stock. Um, there's ten boxes full to the brim, yeah, and there's still some stuff in the car, and there's probably one load of box. There's probably one box at home already. So I've probably got about twelve of these big size boxes. Um, each of these boxes are going to be looked at in turn and then sent over to Amazon one at a time so you're looking at about probably, probably around about eight shipments to Amazon sort of coming over here and um, what I might do I might just do a quick video of each of the boxes just going out so you can see it but this is my new storage container it's only a little one and uh, I'm gonna put some shelves in here and that sort of stuff if this works out quite well if this works out quite well I'm gonna to increase to the business one which has power and that inside it but I'm paying £14 a week for this plus my insurance for the stock. I've, I've valued the stock here around about £2,000 worth of board games. So, so it's not too bad really. Um, I'm going to start offloading all my other stuff to here as well. The computer games and kind of consoles and that sort of stuff which I need to be working on. Just to try and clear some space up the house so I can actually get some better listings and that sort of stuff going around. But if this works out, this is going to be my new office. Um, and now I'm going to increase the size of the units as we go. But for £132 a, a month, round right about that is when I'm paid it all off. That's not too bad for a little bit of storage due to I'm trying to move house shortly, so I don't want to list as much as I can in the house. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again later. See you then. Bye.